Well, the soldiers took Jesus down from the cross and they put him in the tomb. A tomb is a cave where you put dead bodies. They put Jesus in the tomb because he was dead. And the Pharisees said to the Roman ruler, you better guard that tomb. Jesus' friends said he would get alive again. That won't happen. But they'll probably try to come at night and steal his body and then say that he rose from the dead. Do you think that's true, kids? Is Jesus really going to stay dead? No. He's not. So the Roman ruler sent some soldiers to guard the tomb. And the snake thought that he should guard the tomb too. The snake said, Hiss, I win. Do, uh, I don't feel so good about that, kids. Maybe God can't get through that. Are you sure? Maybe. Yes. Yes. I think it just all he does is open up his going and he just stands. I don't know. Okay, well, um, now Jesus really was dead. And they were all pretty sure that nothing was going to happen. But they all waited anyway. And things got pretty boring. Because when you just wait and nothing happens, it's pretty, pretty boring. But uh, so they waited all through the first night. And all through the first day. Oh, home. And all through the second night. And all through the second day. Mm -hmm. And all through the third night. And then came the third day. And there was an earthquake. And everything was shaking. The ground was shaking. They could hardly stand up. And then suddenly God sent an angel. And sent that stone flying. They pushed the stone away. And Jesus came out of the tomb, alive. All right, what do you think of that, kids? Yay! Yay! He did this world. Amazing! He got through the snake and everything. Father God saw Jesus and said, Jesus? Jesus says, Father! God says, I love you. And Jesus says, Father, I love you too. And Jesus danced around, happy to be alive again. Good, good, very, very good. Good, good, very, very good. And then some women came. They had spices with them. They thought that Jesus was still dead and that death would make his body stay. And so they wanted to make his body smell good, so they brought some spices to help Jesus out a little bit. Okay? But they saw the angel, and the angel spoke to them and said, Jesus is alive. Now go and tell Jesus all their friends. And so they did. Then Peter and John heard about it, and they came to find out if it was true. They looked into the tomb. But they didn't see Jesus. But they found some grave cloths of his that he was wearing when they put him in there. What was going on? Did Jesus really rise from the dead? Yes. Huh? I don't know. They weren't sure, kids. So Jesus' friends sat around eating dinner. They would have been going, um, 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 if Jesus was there. But they weren't. Because they were so sad they could hardly eat. Do you feel like eating when you're sad? Yeah. Yes. You do? Some people do actually eat more when they're sad. I do. Ah, yeah, right, yeah. So um, they were so sad that Jesus died. Oh my gosh, Jesus died. If he were here, it would be so wonderful. But he's dead, and now it's terrible. I hate those Romans. I hate those people who killed Jesus. I hate the Pharisees. Then they talked about what the women said, that Jesus is really alive. What? 
Do you think Jesus is really alive? Yeah. Nah, dead people don't get up and walk around. Kids, is Jesus dead? No. No. Jesus is alive. Believe it, believe it. 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 But Peter said, listen, guys, listen. We, Jesus told us many, 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 many times. I'm going to be handed over to the Pharisees. I'm going to be killed. I'm going to be put in the ground three days, three nights, and then I'm going to get up again and be alive. He told us many times. They said, nah, Peter, no. Jesus was talking about something else. He meant something else. Kids, did, did he mean something else? No. 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 Jesus is alive. Believe it, believe it. 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 And then, all of a sudden, Jesus appeared right there. Oh my gosh. Yay! cool and Jesus scolded them for not believing him when he told them many 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 times that all these things were going to happen so they finally believed him phew thank goodness Yay. and you know what else Jesus did he breathed on them <sighs> He did just like when his father made Adam, and Adam breathed on, uh, God breathed on Adam, and he became alive. Well, Jesus says, you are the guys who are dead. You are the ones who have to get alive again. So receive the Holy Spirit. <sighs> receive the Holy Spirit. Whosoever sins you forgive, they're forgiven. And if you don't forgive somebody's sins, they are not forgiven. Did they have somebody's sins to forgive? Who do yes. they need to forgive? Their own They need to forgive themselves for not believing Jesus. They have to forgive Jesus for dying, I guess. They have to believe the Roman soldiers who pound, pound, pound the nails into his hands and feet. And they have to forgive the Pharisees, right? They need to forgive a lot of people. And you know what? Those unforgivenesses were making their faith dead. So if you have to forgive anything, kids, quick, do it as soon as possible. Because unforgiveness will make your faith dead. So that's your enemy. That is the snake, and you've got to get rid of it. Okay. Um, is it hard to forgive people? Yeah. It can be pretty hard, but I think it's the most important thing you can do. Yes. You guys are being disrespectful. Listen. Oh, we'll have to save that part. Don't we'll have to save that part for later. Sorry. Okay. So remember, then Jesus led them outside for a long walk to a place he used to go with all his friends, to a place called Ooh. Bethany. You know a place like that? I'm on Bethany. No. Yeah. The first Bethany is there where Jesus was with his friends. Okay. So Jesus was saying to all of them, he said, I want everyone to know how to be forgiven of sins. I want everyone to believe that I died on the cross and believe that I rose from the dead. And I want you to make 
more friends and teach those friends to believe in me too and be a part of God's wonderful family. And as Jesus was talking to them about these things, he went up and up and up and up and up. How far is he going to go? Until he was in heaven again. Yeah. Yay, yeah. yeah. Jesus, yeah. good yeah. job. Yeah. And oh, Jesus God. said, God. Jesus said, Father, <laughs> Father, <laughs> I'm <laughs> home. <laughs> and Father God <laughs> said, Welcome home, Jesus. <laughs> And Jesus said, Father. And God said, Congratulations. You won the world back from the snake. Let's have a hug. Yay, Jesus. Yay, God. Have this hug. Good. All right. And Father God said, Jesus. Jesus said, Yes, Father. Jesus. I'd like you to make you king over the earth. Jesus said, really? I get to go to earth and be king? That's great. What do you think of that, kids? Yeah. All right, good. And Father God says, Jesus, don't you want to take anybody with you to rule the earth? Jesus said, yes, Father. I want to take our big, big, special family with me to help me rule the earth. Father God said, that's a great idea. That's a good idea. Yes, 